711 AD, year 89 of the Hagira. I begin my day as the winds throw the sands up into a spiral, forcing the men and horses to shield their eyes and seek refuge. I cannot help but notice how the camels stand torn and daunted. We are a people of the horse, but we have the resilience of camels as well. Invaders have swept through this land for centuries, and yet we, Berbers, have remained powerful and strong-willed. Despite our strength, we have only rarely ventured outside of our homeland on the path of conquest. But it's about to change. A man named Tariq ibn Siyad has sown the seeds of ambition among warriors and simple herdsmen alike. We will prepare for war. Tariq is not as other men. Once a slave, he rose to become a brilliant general. Strong, charismatic and tactful, he's also a Berber like us. Thousands of men flock to his banner. Men who formerly shunned the thought of venturing across the sea, now eagerly board the ships destined for Iberia. With Allah as my witness, I shall truthfully record the events to come. For good or evil. On this fruitful land, my brothers, our conquest of Iberia begins today! to fight for an honorable man like yourself. Ali His army is camped just across Luxa the border to the northwest. The city. Luxa. Look, why now? Allah, Luxa, Luxa. Allah, Allah, Luxa. Luxa. Ali the Allah, Luxa. establish a camp. The work, quickly. There is no time to lose. Your course is Abenay. just. Our stable will train your horsemen, you and our dock will build your ships. Abenay. There is no air A clear up. Abenay. Here? I am. I am.
Bolster the defenses and be prepared for enemy Ik 
الزول ما في تخبح
Lisa.
Thousands lie dead, and yet one cannot help but admire how the Visigoths fought valiantly and honorably to the terrain. It is a melancholy thing to see their corpses left in the crows and wolves. As we entered the city of Cordoba, our men stared in awe at the architecture and riches of this plain. Now is no time for resting, Tariq tells us. There is much left to be done. 